And uh, once again, we are back after some, once again, some problems in the, the break here. Hopefully you're still with us. And uh, if not, I don't know who I'm talking to. But anyway, let's move on. Let's talk to the world champion from 2018. And now he's looking to be streamer of the year 2020. <laughs> he's from Czech Republic. It's uh, Martin Krompols, a uh, Kappa. Kappa, how are you, man? Hello. Hello, Eric. Hello, G. Hello, everyone. I'm pretty fine. It's been uh, quite a boring day, actually. Just just did a bit of streaming, but now the best part of the day is upcoming. And there's obviously an interview with the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, appreciate someone saying that, that it's the best part of the day. Uh, but <laughs> can you tell us uh, simply, this is a sort of tracking a live to ask the top players about what their first impression of the new game is. So let's not waste any time. What is your first impression of the new game? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And tell us what is your first impression? The first impression, I would speak about my impression as a pro player because that's what I care about. What I care about the most is obviously the gameplay, if it's buggy, if it's flowy, if, if it looks good. And I would say from that perspective, it's almost perfect you know but uh there is the other part of the of the game that massa was speaking about previously and i would agree with a lot of stuff that he said and uh, i don't think i need to repeat on that but you know it, it sometimes it feels like uh the game is not finished at all to, also today me and spam were playing on a tmgl or, or we tried to create a a server with TMGL tracks, for instance, and uh, we couldn't even see each other, you know? We were connected on the same server and we couldn't even see each other, which, is, well, that doesn't make any sense, you know? And we are, but we both had to pay for the club access and a lot of the functions just don't work, you know? And it, it's not a little money, you know, we have to pay. So I think uh, they really should try to fix most of the stuff as soon as possible because it, sometimes it looks like like it's a little bit of rip off you know <laughs> yeah but i agree with you maybe there that now is actually the most important time to actually show people that is coming in that yeah this is actually a good game this is not any game with flaws and imagine if you are a complete new player to this and say okay i'm actually going to dedicate myself to jackmania i'm going to pay 60 dollars and then eventually you end up with some are you missing a feature playing with rounds with friends and such? But do you feel that uh, this is something that Ubisoft is working on? Do you feel like this is something that is easily flexible? Or do you think that it might actually take a while until we end up feeling like this game is somewhat finished? Okay, but we have to remember that the game has already been postponed by two months. You know, I thought the, the pause was made to you know prevent any mistakes like that to to make them be able release the game completely finished but in fact what we are getting we are getting a completely unfinished game i mean the gameplay is awesome you know but as massa was speaking about and also i added to it but there's a lot of stuff that is not working and i personally would love to also host a tournament for the Czech scene, you know, because this is the best time to to grasp all the people that are new to the game, that probably are reviving their emotion that they had 10 years ago, and we would like to put them together and get back to the game. But how are we going to do that when we can't even host a server right now, you know? How, how are we going to do that? So there's, there's a lot of these, these things. I mean, the gameplay is awesome. I would just have to repeat myself, but the game just feels unfinished. This is like beta version of the game. And uh, I mean, if they don't fix it too early, I feel like it's a bit of a ripoff. I mean, I will play the game anyway, you know, we will stay, but but the point of the new game overall, I guess, was to bring the attention to the game and it's just not finished, you know? <laughs> yeah. But let's talk about you as a player then. Uh, some people brought up maybe that the new eyes is more aimed towards, or not aimed towards, but may favorable for pad players because you need more smooth movement. Can you tell us, do you feel any disadvantage now that the new game, because you are a keyboard player, do you feel any maybe advantages because you're a Cam 1 player? Tell us, how do you see yourself as compared to other players? Do you feel that you have more or less advantages now? Uh, 
well about my camera i think this was the the most favorable camera going into this game because you know some people have been complaining about camera 2 working on the eyes also camera 3 has been really bullied from the beginning you know but now it's it it, it has got back but i think it's not the same it's like uh, put a bit lower but I, i'm not too sure i'm not a cam 3 user but uh yeah about keyboard that's a, a bigger issue honestly uh i actually got a, an analog keyboard you might have noticed that uh, yeah, i got it today earlier i i have already tried it it could be a big thing because uh, there is a lot of blocks that require a very gentle steering so to speak <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's obviously not not possible with uh, with with keyboard with a digital input and uh, with the Trackmania physics. So I feel a bit disadvantaged, but I mean I've always been a bit disadvantaged, and it's my decision to play with the keyboard. So I'll just have to adapt as as much as I can, and uh, probably the uh, analog keyboard is my solution. Uh, ask pretty much everybody who has been a guest at this point about this question because you are the top players and you are then looking to play the top event. You have two big events coming up. It's Japan and Grandling and it's the set of T event. Can you tell people how are you looking to do at these events? Is there any event you prioritize over the other? Tell us people, how are you preparing for the upcoming weeks and months in Japan? Well, uh, the answer is quite simple because, uh, the week of qualify qualification for ZRT is uh, the wedding of uh, my good friend and I won't be available on uh, on that weekend so that makes me available to play and my only objective right now is obviously the DMGL show match and probably I'm trying also to discover the game a little bit more you know get to know the ice blocks and uh, find out about the new tricks but i will not play that rt but uh the more i will try to focus on uh, tmgl show match which i would love to win because uh it would be really awesome to start off in the new game with a victory hmm. so if you're looking to do a bet in my track betting league it's not a bad thing to put you first there right it's always a risky card, honestly, <laughs> to, to bet on me. It's uh, never a safe bet because uh, even if I'm practice in the group stage, it's, uh, you know, uh, for me, it's sometimes really difficult to keep myself concentrated for eight minutes straight. You know, I tend to make maybe one or two mistakes, you know, every, every eight minutes. And sometimes it's a bigger one. So that uh that can be very costly but i will try to work on that you know it, it's really difficult because sometimes when i get into the flow i ca i become very relaxed and then i start thinking about something else you know and that's the start of the end <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at the i mean the show much sure it's fun to do well there but i guess your bigger picture is to maybe win the check in a grand league fall season do you think that there is going to be some changes in how the players are going to look up against each other or maybe face against each other? Like, you think maybe you had a clear goal about being top four in Checkmina 2 Stadium. Do you still believe that you are one of them? Or do you think that maybe now everything can switch up because it's a new game, it's new surfaces, maybe it's a new player in when coming up? How do you see the Checkmina Grand League playing out? Well, uh, speaking of Gwen... I can see him uh, getting in top four, obviously. He has definitely the potential, but it's not only him. I mean, we all have to see, but I don't think like the, the game is really going to change that much to kick me out of you know the top three battles. I don't think that's going to be the case. We will really have to see how... Uh, how the maps will look, you know, because looking at the show, ma show, show, match, ma uh, show match maps, I think I'm really there. I can be the best on these tracks, but if I'm going to do that, who knows? But the other question is, will the maps look the same when the, when the, uh, you know, when the season proceeds, you know, I, I have no idea how the, how the maps will look like in one month, in two months or in a half a year. So for now it's all good, but who knows what, who, what will come, you know? 
Actually, a question from the chat here. I guess we have time to bring it up as the last question from Crifix. He's asking, do you think that the field in Trackmania Grand League will be closer now that you have the respawn system where your car actually has speed once you start instead of standing still? Uh, yes, and no, not only because of that, but also because now I feel like all 16 players are almost like all, almost all of them would be considered top 16 in the world and uh that all of them are now motivated you know because in the previous seasons there were always good players but some of them were lacking motivation but now with also with this organization system and also the system where if you play bad you you are just getting kicked off the league you know and probably will have to grind one season at, at least one season to get back and no one can afford it now you know everyone has to play good and no one will take it like less seriously than than he should so i think all, all people will be trained and all people are on the top level so yeah the matches will be really close really <laughs> thank you so much for taking time uh, if people are looking to find you on a stream you are like i mentioned looking to be a streamer of the year 2020 when is the next stream from uh, kappa I have no idea. I'm going out right after this interview, so maybe tomorrow, but maybe in two days. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to follow him, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Kappa Velos, right? Uh, yes, Kappa Velos. Veloce. <laughs> Veloce. There we yeah. have it. Uh, thank you again for taking so much time to speak with me, and don't be surprised if I hit you up for maybe a podcast instead of this 10-minute uh, interview here. I cannot wait already. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for a couple. The next one is spam and then uh, Matt is coming up after spam. So stay tuned. Hopefully no technical problems in this break, but yeah, stay tuned. Bye-bye.